welcome to the second video by Math Warehouse on working with numbers in other bases. In this tutorial, um, we're going to look at a quick way of converting numbers that are in binary, like 101 base 2 or 101, 101 to base 2, and seeing how we can get that into decimal really quickly. In the first video, we went over th a, the general way of converting any number from some base, whether it was 2 or base 8 base 9 into a normal quote unquote normal decimal number. In this one we're going to look at a quick way that only applies to binary numbers. Alright, so first off, let's convert these numbers from binary to decimal the old school way, the way I showed you in the first video, the way that works for any base but is slow compared to what we'll do today. It's just 1 times 2 to the 0, um, 0 times 2 to the 1, 1 times 2 squared, right? 1 times 2 to the 0 is 1, so this is 1, 0, 1 times 2 squared is 4, giving us 5. Remember from that first video we learned that what you do here is you add. Okay, so let's try this now. Same idea. It's going to be 0 times 2 to the 0, 1 times 2 to the 1st, right, boom. 0 times 2 squared and 1 times 2 cubed. This is 0. This is 1 times 2 or 2. 0, 1 times um, 2 to the cubed or 8, giving us a 10. Okay, so again, that's the old method, the, the one that is much slower than what we're going to look at today. Now, the thing that distinguishes binary numbers from other numbers. For instance, let's look at this really quick. Let's convert a small number um, in a different base. Let's say, let's convey, convert base 13, sorry, 13 and base 4 to decimal. And let's see what's different about that. It's going to be 3 times 4 to the 0, 3 times 1 or 3, and 1 times 4 to the 1st, which is 4 or this is 7 in our normal base 10. Now notice, for base 4 we can have um, these numbers here, any digit can be 1, 2, or 3. In binary you've only got two choices. Instead of 3 or 1, it's got to be a 1 or a 0. So, it's kind of like all that we care about is when there's a 1. Right? Like, if there's a 0, it just becomes 0. If, if there's a 0 here, notice it's 0 times 2 squared or 0. If there's a 1, it's just that power of 2. In other words, 2 to the 0 or 1. Here, this 1 was 2 squared, or 4. So what you can do, a quick way, so doing it this long way, is, is just write out your powers of 2. And if and then all you have to do is fill it, fill it in, right? One, zero, one, right? The number we were trying to convert. We don't care about the zero. All of it is is four plus one or five. Let's try this number here. It's one, zero, one, zero. Again, you can do the long way, or you can just say, hey, all I care about are the ones, or eight plus two, which is ten, that we got the long way. Okay, let's try um, a few more examples and see um, how quickly you can do even kind of larger numbers this way. What is, um, give me one second. Let's look at 101011. And let's convert 111011. Sorry, 111010 and 101101. Hopefully I didn't make any duplicate numbers here. So let's see, we just fill them in here. It's easiest to kind of read them right to left when you fill in it. It's just 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. So all that is, right, the powers of 2 underneath this number, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. All right, so again, we don't care about the 4. We don't care about this. So, so this, is, this number in base 2, if we want to make it into our, a nice decimal number, is 32 plus 8 plus 2 plus 1. 
43. Let's try it with this next one. Zero, one, zero, and then we have three ones. It's just going to be 32 plus 16 plus 8 plus 2, right? 32 plus 16 plus 8 plus 2. This is 42, 58. And let's do one more. Um, we've got zero one, then two ones, and then one zero. Okay, so this is just going to be. Let me scroll down a little bit. Hey, let's make it even a little bit longer. Let's put another one here and give us a sixty-four there. So then we've got sixty-four plus thirty-two. Skip the sixteen plus 8, plus 4, plus 1. So if you add all those up, you're going to get 109. So again, let's just recap why this works. If we go back to the general method, you would write it out in a long way as 0 times 2 to the 0, um, 1 times 2 to the first, 0 times 2 squared, 1 times 2 cubed, sorry, running out of room here, 1 times 2 to the 4th, and this guy here would give you 1 times 2 to the 5th. Right, so this would be 0, 2, 0 times 4 is 0, 1 times 2 to the cubed is 8, 1 times 2 to the 4th is 16, 1 times 2 to the 5th is 32. So this long way works. It's just that since binary numbers only ever have 1s or zeros, it's like all we really are doing is either counting the power, 2 to the 1st, 2 cubed, 2 to the 4th, 2 to the 5th, or not counting the power. Right? So easy way, write the powers of 2 out, fill in the 1s and zeros, and add up every power of 2 where there's a 1. Again, that's just a quick, neat shortcut that only works for binary numbers. Check out mathwarehouse.com slash non-decimal numbers if you'd like to see some other cool things that we got on the site. There's other practice problems, um, some cool uh, calculators on there that help you convert other lessons. Thanks a lot.